Hello, class. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Teacher. Can everybody hear me? Todos me escuchan? Sí, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, excelente. Okay, solo. Good uh, evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Okay, excelente. Good evening. Good evening. Ok, si todos me pueden colaborar ahí um, con sus camaritas, le agradecería bastante. Ahí. Um, ok, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome, and um, I'm very happy to, to meet all of you. Um, I'm very excited to be with you. Um, we are going to be together for uh, for the rest of the week, or better said, the rest of the course, right? So we're going to be together for this week and the next and the next and the next, okay? So we have three more weeks together, okay? So welcome, welcome everybody. Um, bueno, uh, primeramente eh, quiero agradecerles ahí por su puntualidad. Eh, es muy importante, ¿verdad? El poder empezar la clase a tiempo, empezar bien para que pues no hayan dificultades, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues excelente. Gracias ahí por, por um, estar a tiempo. ¿Todos me pueden escuchar? Sí. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ok, ok, excelente. Um, ok, good, good, good. Uh, bueno, entonces, como les decía, eh, les agradezco mucho el que estén aquí sí. hace temprano. Uh, y déjenme, antes que nada, presentarme, uh, porque pues um, eh, yo no los conozco a ustedes y ustedes no me conocen a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, uh, déjenme ahí uh, presentarme un poco. Uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to say it in English, okay? It's because uh, I think everybody will be able to practice list their listening skills. Okay, so my name is Jessica Guerrero. I have um, been an English teacher for ooh, um, let me see, sixteen years. I've been an English teacher, and. Um, let me see. Uh, I've um, I be, I live in San Salvador, and I uh, well I have been living in San Salvador for um, eighteen years. I've been living in San Salvador, and um, I I have a son. I have, my son is uh, thirteen years old, and uh, what else I can tell you about me? Um, well, I, I really um, enjoy some of my, well some of my hobbies. I love dancing, and I like to watch Netflix. And um, my favorite my favorite drink is Coca Cola. <laughs> and um, yes, I know I know it's bad. I know I know, but it's so so good. <laughs> so um, I really like that. And um, let's see what I I. Uh, what else I can tell you? Um, well, my favorite um, dessert is chocolate. I really like chocolate. And um, I love the beach. My favorite place in the world is the beach. And um, um, yeah, that's about me. Do you have any questions? Questions for me? Any questions? No, seguros no quieren preguntar algo. Están están de 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 tímidos. Okay, okay, all right. Well, uh, first of all, what I'm gonna do right now, uh, before anything, is I want I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Uh, because um, I want to make sure that everybody is here. So just give me a moment.
Sorry, do I have Alejandra Maria? No, not here. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Um, Andres Giovanni. Andres Giovanni. No, not here. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Edgar. Do you like to be called Edgar or Alfredo? Uh, Edgar. Edgar, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm well familiarizing with the names and the caritas. Okay, let's see. Do I have uh, Elsie Janet? De Maria? Yes, I'm teacher. Okay, great. Do you like Elsie, Janet, or Maria? Elsie. Elsie. Please. Elsie. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, let me see. I have Fabiola Georgina. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Do you like, so you like Fabiola? You prefer Fabiola? Fabiola. Okay, good. All right. Fabiola, do me a favor. Um, bye. Yo sé que a usted le prefiere el nombre Fabiola, pero um, como en Sefort nos pide que podamos... Um, Georgina. Silva. Entonces, si puede poner, solo le falta ponerle Georgina para que ellos puedan identificarla. Si usted, ¿Cree usted que puede ponerlo o, o quiere que yo se lo ponga? Eh, eh, ajá, que me parece completo el nombre según yo, Fabiola Georgina Silva. O oh, no, 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 no. No, uh, no le parece, a mí solo me parece como... Uh, Fabiola Silva. Okay. Uh, uh, uh -huh. okay, Ajá, si me lo puede cambiar. O si, si no puede usted, yo, yo, yo también creo que puede puede cambiárselo. Mm, así. Pero si, si puede usted, me puede ayudar con eso, excelente. Ok, vale. vamos a seguir. A ver, eh, Francisco Javier. Okay. Do you prefer Francisco or Javier? Uh, Javier. Javier. Okay. Good. Thank you, Javier. Um, Irene Azucena. Okay. No, not here. Irene Azucena. Okay. Um, what about Jennifer Magali? Jennifer Magali? No? Okay. All right. Uh, Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Do you like Josue or Alberto Josue? Josue. Okay. For Josue. Okay. All right. Um, so let's see. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Do you prefer Juan or Francisco? Juan, está bien. Juan. Okay, Juan. Wonderful. Okay. Um, uh, Julio Cesar. Is Julio Cesar here? Right here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Do you like Julio, Cesar, or together, Julio, Cesar? It can be all together or can only be Julio. Okay, but no what problem. do you feel more comfortable with? It doesn't matter with me. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just call you Julio, Cesar, then. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. All right. 
Okay, let's see. Um, I also have um, Carla Marta. Is Carla Marta here? Okay. Uh, what about um, Carla Noemi? Carla Noemi? No? Okay. Right. Um, uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, what do you prefer to be called? Manuel. Manuel. Okay. All right. Uh, Manuel, bye. también tengo el mismo eh, detallito ahí con usted. Um, sé que le gusta, pre prefiere más Manuel, pero si puede usted ponerle ahí su, um, su nombre completo, mejor, eh, porque así lo requiere ahí esa forma. No sé si puede ponerle ahí su nombre. Ok. Sí, se me hace esa gran favorzazo. Ok, thank you. Y Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. No, not here. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Man, eh, Mariela de Los Angeles. Mariela de Los Ángeles. I'm here. Oh, okay. Do you prefer Mariela or Mariela Los Angeles or what do you prefer? Mariela. Mariela. Okay. Okay, good. And let me see. Um, Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Do you like Marvin or Wilfredo? Marvin is okay. Marvin is okay. Okay. All right, let me see who else is here. Um, Werner, Werner Mauricio. Not here, Werner Mauricio. Oh, wow, faltan muchos. Okay, uh, soy la Noemi. Soy la Noemi. Present. Okay, all right. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, do you like soil or Noemi? Noemi. Noemi, okay. But, ayúdeme con algo, um, Noemi. Um, dos cositas. Necesito que me encienda la cámara. Eh, si me puede ayudar con eso. Y lo otro es que necesito que le ponga ahí su nombre completo. Um, así como okay. le aparece ahí con esa forma. Así que, um, okay. así cabal. Todo con el eh, nombre de, de casada también, ¿verdad? Soy la Noemí Cordé. Si me hace ese gran favor, Sasu. Ok, and uh, finally, Suleima Yvonne. Present. Ok, do you like Suleima o Yvonne? Um, I prefer Yvonne. You prefer Yvonne. Ok, all right, good. Ok, creo que se me han unido otros porque me parece más. Ok, quiero ver. ¿A quién, quién no le no he pasado lista? Um, yo, Alejandra Jovel. Oh, okay. Alejandra. Sí. Okay. Eh, entonces, Alejandra, también los mismos, si me puede ayudar ahí con su nombre. Ah, okay. Eso es lo que yo Ok, de acuerdo. Um, Gracias. Eh, ¿Y qué más? ¿Qué más son? Buenas noches. Eh, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso. Andrés Giovanni. Ok. ¿Le prefiere Andrés o Giovanni? Giovanni. Giovanni. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Giovanni. ¿Alguien más? Creo que sería todo, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que ya estamos todos. Ok, perfecto. Ok, gracias chicos. Gracias ahí por, uh, por ahí la paciencia. Eh, acuérdense, solamente le digo eso en español porque eh, no quiero que, que pues um, hayan ahí esos, si hay algún problema. Um, 
solamente necesito acordarles de que uh, es importante que ustedes um, siempre utilicen su nombre completo en, la, en, en Zoom, ¿verdad? Para, porque es un requisito de parte del de INSAFORT, ¿verdad? Que ustedes tengan su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Entonces es, es um, requisito que asegúrense cada vez que ustedes se meten ahí a la plataforma, eh, oh, pero sí, al, al, al Zoom, asegúrese de ver cómo aparece su nombre. Si usted no sabe cómo aparece su nombre, puede ir en la parte donde dice participantes. Eh, ¿Verdad? En, si ustedes ven en, en la parte de abajo, ¿verdad? La barra de herramientas, ahí si ustedes van a, o oh, bueno, o si están en el celular, no sé si están en el celular, pero van a aparecer allí como, um, ahí va a aparecer participantes. Entonces, lo que usted puede hacer es, eh, el, puede, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, tomar, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Ver, ver ahí cómo aparece ahí, cabal, cuando usted aprieta a participantes, le aparece ahí como um, eh, todos los participantes que hay y el primero que le aparece es usted mismo. Entonces, ahí va a ver cómo aparece su nombre completo para que usted vea si está correcto o tiene que hacer algún cambio. Si usted no puede hacer algún cambio, entonces me deja saber. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita? All clear. ¿Es all clear? Clear. Yeah, for me. All clear. All clear. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Well, um, now that I've taken the attendance, um, I just want to, uh, well, I think I have, let me see. Yeah, I have all the people here. Okay. All right. Excellent, guys. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, um, like I said, I want to just to um, get to know you quickly um, because I don't have, I haven't had the opportunity there of getting to know everybody. So let me say, I want to be able to um, meet you. And so I want you just to introduce yourself and say maybe three or four sentences about you so that I get to know who you are. So let's start now with, um, let me see, I think it is Juan. Let's start with Juan. I frozen, teacher. You're, you're frozen or I'm frozen? You are, you are frozen. I'm frozen. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, but you can hear me. Yes. Okay, okay, all right. So Juan, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Mm. Tell, me, tell me a little bit about who mm. you are. No. Se, se corta, teacher, no. No, no me escucha. Se me corta, yo creo que tengo problemas. Sí, se me co se corta. El... Oh. Dale. ¿Qué? Creo que yo tengo problemas. ¿Qué si me puede decir? Give me, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about who you are. Right. Um, who you are. Uh -huh. Tell me uh, information about you. You can say, for example. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, you can say, my for name. Example, um, I, um, I don't know, I live in San Salvador. I have okay. any, any information. Uh, my name. My name is Juan Francisco Enrique Gonzalez. Uh, I, uh, I work in Energia Borealis. Uh, it is a uh, power generation plant. Um, I live in Apopa. Um, 
my favorite hobbies is see anime. Uh, I um, read manga. Oh, you read manga. Interesting. What kind of yeah. what, what kind of manga do you read? Uh, uh, one piece. <laughs> In other films, yes. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you very much, Juan. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, let me see, Elsie. Can you tell can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Elsie? Okay, teacher. My name is Elsie Ramirez. I live in San Salvador. I work at ETS Consulting. Um, I am commercial senior. My favorite food is seafood. And my my hobby favorite, my favorite hobby is dancing. Oh, is dancing. okay. So you and I have the same hobby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of music do you like to dance to? Eh, merengue, salsa, um, no sé, eh, solo eso. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Elsie. Okay, um, let's talk to Marvin. Tell me uh, My name is Marvin Gonzalez. I work in Cotecna, El Salvo. Mm -hmm. uh, I like play football and football soccer and um, play basketball. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, what kind of, uh, do you play on a team or do you yeah. play um, just like with your friends? Yeah, play a team. Really? What, what team do you play for? Uh, in Santana, Mustang is the name of the team. Interesting, okay, good. That sounds really interesting. Okay, thanks, Marvin. All right, let's talk to Manuel. Okay, uh, my name is, uh, my name is Manuel Alejandro. Rodrigo Molina. I, I live in Santana City. I work in Fruit of the Loom, El Salvador. I am uh, 30 years old. Um, I like to uh, play soccer. And my, my favorite places. My favorite, favorite place, place is a beach. Uh, I like hamburgers, pizza, uh, and soda. That sounds good. So you and I both like the beach. What is your favorite beach? Excuse me? What is your favorite beach? Uh, my favorite beach is Los Cobanos and Costa Azul. In a little, uh, oh, Costa Azul. Yes. Oh, I've never heard of that. Where is Costa Azul? In, in Sonsonate City. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much, Manuel. Okay. Um, all right, let's go now with Edgar. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Edgar. Okay, uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is uh, Edgar Mejiva. I work um, at Vicola Sabaureña, Pollo Indio. Um, I like um, play uh, play soccer. My team's um, soccer is uh, Real Madrid. Uh, I, I, I have a 
40, 40, 45 is old. Only. You are 45 years old. Okay, good. And um, what have, why, why do you like Real Madrid so much? Tell me. What? What did you? Tell me why, why do you like Real Madrid? What's the reason you like them? Um, I, I like uh, Real Madrid for um, champions, champions and, and more, 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 um, por todo el tiempo, pues, en el que han sido campeones, han sido um, un, un equipo ganador, pues, uh, the teams, the team, win, win, win teams, man. They're, yeah. they're winners. The winners, yeah. Mm, okay, okay, sounds good. Excellent, thanks, Edgar. Okay, okay, good. All right, let's talk to, let me see. Um, I think, is it Francisco? Francis, no, 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 Javier. It's Javier, right? You, prefer, you told me you prefer Javier. Okay. That's no matter. Over. Okay, and I'm, I'm Francisco Javier Villatoro. Um, I live in Pasaquina, Unión. Um, sometimes in San Miguel. Okay, um, I work for IT consulting and I have, uh, well, I'm four, four years old. I have two childs and I'm, I'm married. That's all. You're a what? What? You said at the end, what did you say at the end? Oh, I'm married. Oh, you're married. Okay. Okay. I see. And uh, what are your, what are your kids names? Uh, excuse me? What are your children's names? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Ellie Alexander. Alexander and Ellie. It's Ellie. Oh, it's, well, sorry, what was that? I T C E L. It's Ellie. Oh, that's an interesting name. Something different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I, I love names that are different, you know, that they're, they're not common. Okay. That's, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Francisco. All right. Let me say hi to Josue. Hi, teacher. My name is Josue Alberto Salas. I work at Cotecna del Salvador. I live in La Palma, Chilatenango. And I like to watch uh, movies, series, and I love to play soccer with my friends. All right, excellent, very good. What series do you like? What do, what's your favorite series? Uh, series like Vikings. Uh, uh, I love uh, action movies and series like this. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, Josue. Um, by, eh, solamente quería mencionar algo um, para Manuel y Werner. Veo que, que nos han, uh, Manuel Mantoya eh, y Werner, uh, Mauricio, es, veo que nos han, uh, se han unido con nosotros. Solo podría pe pedirles si podrían uh, activar ahí sus cámaras. Eh, les agradecería bastante. ¿Verdad? Eh, solo pues porque ahí Zafor nos, nos pide ese detallito, que tengamos las cámaras encendidas. Eh, y no sé si Warner está por ahí. Uh, good evening, teacher. Sí, yes, aquí, here, teacher. El, eh, me voy a conectar con, otro, con otra cuenta para tener dos, porque me conecto del teléfono porque la PC no tiene cámara por el momento, teacher. Oh, ok. Bye, no hay problema. Entonces, sí. Okay. sí, so, sí está bien, no hay problema. Puede entonces conectarse ahí con, con el teléfono para que lo podamos ver. Sí, no hay problema. Ok. Y Manuel Montoya, eh, ¿cree que le puedo pedir un favorzazo? Um, ¿Será posible que me podría poner su nombre 
completo, tal como aparece ahí con esa for, porque ahorita solo le aparece como Manuel Montoya. Eh, entonces, si podría, por favor, ponerlo así, um, su nombre completo. Le agradecería, solo porque pues son los, las, um, ahí las directrices ahí de, de, de Linsa for. Ok, bueno, thank you very much. Uh, sigamos ahí con Fabiola. Fabiola, uh, I think it's Fabiola, creo que me dijo que, sí, Fabiola me dijo que prefería. Ok, so Fabiola, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Fabiola Yolvino Silva. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Uh, my favorite disco is Teatro. I like to listen to music. Um, dancing. My favorite is the beach. Only that. Your favorite food is what? Did you say? What? What did you say was your favorite food? Yeah, food. What? What? What did you say is the favorite food? Marisco. Yeah, food. Oh, seafood. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Seafood is very delicious. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let me say hi to Alejandra. Hello. My name is Alejandra. Um, I like to go to the beach every day, well, like every Sunday when I can and I like watch movies and series and uh, talk to my friends, go out, anything. Okay, wonderful. That sounds great. I would love to, I would love to be able to go to the beach every week. That sounds really, really nice. You live close to the beach? Um, I'm from San Miguel, and the beach uh, is very close to the city. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. So, what is the temperature in San Miguel in this moment? Um, 40 grades. 36, like 36, 40. 30. Right now, in this moment, like at night? Um, 36. 36. And, and during the day? Uh, like 38. Wow, that's that's tough. Yeah, because for example, um, I know today here in San Salvador is very hot. Um, so I can only imagine what it's like. In San wow, I, I admire you. <laughs> I admire you. That's wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, um, let me talk to, well, thank you very much, Alejandra. Let me say hi to, um, uh, I think it was Yvonne. Uh, good evening to everybody. My name is Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez, but I prefer Yvonne. Uh, I am from Santa Ana. I work at Balsamar Manufacturing and Balsamar Manufacturing is in Ciudad Arce. Uh, I live in Santa Ana too and I have two little dogs. I love dogs. And um, <laughs> I, I am married. Uh, I have a son, he is uh, 20 years old. And he is studying uh, in the uh, university, uh, Universidad del Salvador, and only that. Wow, you do not look like you have a son that's studying at university. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> university. <laughs> wow, Thank that's you. great. Interesting. Okay. Great, thank you very much, Yvonne. Okay, and I also have uh, Noemi. Good evening. 
My name is eh, Celia Noemi Córdoba de Valencia. I am married. I have a two daughters. Um, one is uh, 23 years old and 21 years old. Um, I, I work in Alianza Football Club. Um, I am a contact. Um, I like to visit the beach, the mountain. I, I like the nature and I love to go out with my family. <laughs> okay, great. So do you like do you like soccer, Naomi? Uh, only watch. Only to watch it. Okay. Um, to watch. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not play. Okay. I don't <laughs> not, not to play, just to watch. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you, Naomi. Um, let me say hi to Mariela. Good evening. My name is Mariela de Los Angeles Alvarado Diaz. I have two child, uh, Angel and Ariel. Um, he is uh, my older son, 17. And, and my baby, 15. I like, um, I like the Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, I love uh, Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, Hawaiian pizza is the, the best. <laughs> okay. My favorite food. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and I work in surprofing. I uh, we work in we work um for Digo and Huawei. Wow, okay. yeah, that's all. Good. And you too look very young. You do not look like you have a, a son that's 70 years old. <laughs> Yes, very, very young. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Good. Thank you, Manila. Um, okay, we have um Carla. Um let me see. Carla Marta? Is that? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Do you prefer Carla or Marta? Mm, whatever you want. Carla is okay. Carla, okay. All right. So tell us about yourself, Carla. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Carla Marta Cano Hernandez. I live in Soyapango. I work for Burger King. I'm a manager in a restaurant. I, I have three years old and I work for Burger King since 2012 year. And my favorite uh, music is Mm, rock and I love uh, tacos and I love visit different places in my country because I love El Salvador and and that's all teacher. I I I want I want to say that I I really do appreciate the fact that I, I love the fact that you say I love my country. Yeah. That's great. I love it. I, I love that because um, you know that's actually something that not many people say. You know, some people say, "Oh yeah, I want to move to another country." Yeah, yeah, I know it, but I love my country. <laughs> good, good, and you should. You should love your country because. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful place. It's yeah. an absolute you know, Of course, there's going to be things that we don't like about it, but there's always going to be something we don't like about a country, right? So, but, but that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. What's your favorite place in, in El Salvador? Uh, 
I have many places. For example, Conchagua, La Unión, it's very beautiful. And I love Chalatenango, La Palma. It's a nice place. And um, I love, um, I love all, all, all the places that I know it. <laughs> Okay, sounds good, sounds good. All right, excellent. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Um, let's talk to Julio, his, Julio Cesar. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Julio. I am from Metapan. Uh, I work for Cotecna of El Salvador. I'm 34 years old and um, I like soccer. I played it and I watch it. Uh, I also like video games. And that's about it. Great. And what's what kind of video games do you like? Uh, it depends. Uh, I like racing games, uh, soccer games, war games. Uh, those type of games. What kind of what kind of games did you say? Racing games, uh, soccer games. Oh, soccer games. Okay, all right, yes. all right. Like and, um, and um, do you like to play also um, soccer in real life? Yes, that's what I said. And, and um, do you play like on a team? No, I with just with the friends. Just with friends. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Julio Cesar. All right. All right. Um, let's say hi to Giovanni. Hello, teacher. Hello. My, my name is Giovanni Valdivieso. I live in Citala, Chalatenango. I work for Alcaldía Municipal de Citala. I like uh, to play video games, watch soccer, watch serious movies, mm, just that. And what do you like? Sorry? What kind of movies do you like? Uh, action movies. Action movies, nice, okay. Sounds good. All right, good, excellent, thank you. Okay, nice um, to meet you, teacher. All right, and we also have Irene Cuellar. Uh, so you you like to be called Irene? Irene, can you hear me? Uh, you your microphone is off. I better said turned off. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Good evening. My name is Irene Azucena Cuella. I live in Santa Ana. I work at Fruit of the Loom Company. And I, about myself, I love to watch TV. I love to watch movie series. And I love to listen gospel music. I love to eat Salvadorian typical food. I love to eat pupusas, tamales, and pastelitos, yuca. And I like to visit, visit different uh, places of other, for example, El Tumpo Beach, the Flower Root uh, here in, in Sarana. And only that. All right, that sounds great. So you like to eat all the on, on toquitos. Yeah. <laughs> sounds good. All right. Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite antojito? Um, for example, I love to about the food, Salvadorian typical food. Yeah. Okay, I love to eat um pan dulce. And those. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Well, yeah. That's 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 pretty good. It's always very good. Okay. Thanks, Irene. Do me a big favor. 
do you think that you can put, um, can you change your name in the, in the Zoom um, so that you can have your complete name? So I want you not just to have it okay. in the equator, but your complete name, just like they have it in some photo. I really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's say hi to um, Manuel. My name. My name is Manuel Montoya. Uh, I am from uh, San Miguel. Uh, I am work a uh, consumer. Uh, I like uh, the beach uh, and the travel. You like traveling? Yes. Where where do you like to travel to? Yes, me. Where do you like to travel to? What places have you traveled? Mm. 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 Sorry. What what places have you traveled to? Lo siento, no lo entiendo mucho. No lo entiendo mucho el inglés. What places, what, what, what uh, places in the past have you visited? Eh, eh, I am the city, eh, Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Eh, I am the city. Eh, Sorry, I can't hear you very well. Did you say Guadalajara? Oh, interesting. Sounds nice. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Manuel. All right. Uh, let me say hi to Warner. Good evening. My name is uh, Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. I work Federación Salvadoreña de Esgrima. I am uh, coach national team fencing fall specialty. I am uh, uh, 16 years old. I like the dedicated dedicated the weekend to my family, uh, my wife and son. Uh, go to the movies on the beach or camp. My hobby is cooking. Oh, your hobby is cooking. Yes, teacher. That's interesting. What do you like to cook? Um, I like to cook the beef or river or pork, teacher. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, all right, very good. Sounds nice. Um, and um, so, what? What? How do you cook the pork? Like, what do you cook it with? Any special things that you cook with? Um. Uh, I don't know, understand, teacher. Um, especially the, the with the pork. What do, what do you like? What do you accompany the pork with? Um, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Costilla. <laughs> oh, the ribs. See sí, the the, the rivet, rivet, ribs. Yes, teacher. pork ribs. All right. Yeah. It's... Okay. It sounds good. It sounds really delicious, actually. <laughs> okay. okay, thank teacher. you, Werner. Okay, ¿qué thank nos you, falta? Quiero ver. Creo que ya se me cambió ahí todo el esquema. Ya no veo quién me falta. Who hasn't, who hasn't presented? Anybody that has not said hi? ¿Alguien que no se ha presentado? No? Okay, good. All right, I, I think I have everybody then. Okay, um, all right, class. So, um, all right, so what we're gonna do right now, oh, by the way, um, I think they explained in um, the, 
WhatsApp group that um, from now on, we are going to, we're not going to be having the private classes or private sessions um, for, for tutoring uh, from on Wednesdays. We're gonna start having them from starting today, we're gonna be having them from 10 to 10, 10, okay? So las sesiones que ustedes uh, normalmente hacen de, um, de, para poder tener repaso y todo eso, no se, ya no se van a hacer los miércoles como, como se solía hacer, sino que aquí, de aquí adelante vamos a apartar eh, 10 minutos después de la clase con diferentes participantes. Entonces, eh, les voy a compartir allí el, el día que les toca a cada uno para que se vayan programando. <coughs> para que se vayan programando y, eh, y, si, ah, y si hay alguien que no, no puede quedarse ese día, eh, me avisa para tal vez podemos meter a otro compañero ese día en vez, en vez de, de de usted y podemos ahí hacer los cambios. Entonces, ahora sería eh, Suleyma Yvonne would be today, okay? Uh, on Tuesday, it's so tomorrow, Carla Noemi. Eh, Alejandra Maria will be on Wednesday. Manuel de Jesús, eh, Thursday. Friday is Carla Marta. El Monday, the next Monday, Monday the 15th, will be uh, Marvin Wilfredo. Uh, then Julio Cesar on next Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesday will be Josue Alberto. Uh, Fabiola Georgina next uh, Thursday. Next Friday will be Juan Francisco. So that's Friday the 19th. Now the 22nd of March, Monday 22nd of March will be Elsie Janet. Uh, on Tuesday, March the 23rd will be Werner Mauricio. On Wednesday the 24th will be um, Jennifer Magali. And Thursday, March 25th, Francisco Javier. And Friday, March 26th, Mariela de Los Angeles. Okay? So, ahí está. No mencioné a otros que ya no, que, que no mencionadas porque se supone que ya lo tuvieron la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, sí, si no le mencioné es porque se supone que tendría que haberlo tenido la semana pasada. Any questions about that? Um, yes, Miss uh, Jessica, right? Yes, correct. Uh -huh. uh, I see Miss Carla Cano is asking to have her session quicker. You can schedule her on on my session on next Tuesday. You said if it's possible. I saw that in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for that, Julio. No problem. Okay, so. Yeah, thank you very much. So, Julio, I, I, I will not be taking the uh the special season. Oh, okay, okay, no so you're, you don't you don't need it. Um, so you're, uh, uh, you're giving your session to her, right? Okay, all right. So, who am I scheduling in your in your position, Miss Carla Cano? Ah, uh, Carla Cano, okay, I'm going to, Mrs. I don't know, all right, all right, so I will. I will schedule you in so that we know that um, on, let's see, when were you supposed to be? Uh, that was for, uh, I think okay, that I was supposed to be on next Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday the 16th, yes, okay. So um, Tuesday the 16th, so Carla, uh, you, will, you will be uh, scheduled down for March the 16th, okay? Sounds good? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Julio. Oh yeah. No problem. Anytime. Oh, no problem. And if you guys have any other any other problems, let me know because that way we can we can make any arrangements, any problems with schedules, we can help you. Okay. 
All right, anything else? I guess not. No? Okay. Um, all right, so that will be it to everybody. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, first of all, we're gonna start talking about, about buying things online. How many people of, uh, how many of you have ever bought something online? I want you to raise your hand, you know, with your virtual hand. I want you to raise your hand and if you have ever bought something online. Con sus manitas virtuales. Ya, ya saben levantarla. Las manitas virtuales. It's right where it says the, rea the reactions. When you, when you click on the reactions, it just says raise hand. Okay, so raise your hand if you have ever um, bought something online. Okay, so eight people in this moment, nine people, okay. All right, okay, wow, lots of people. Okay, anybody else? Okay, so in total we've had 11 people that you, you have bought something online. Okay, now tell me, what kind of things have you bought online? Open up your microphone and tell me, what things have you bought online? So the uh, people that have bought things, what, share, share with us. What kind of things have you bought online? Clothes, shoes, um, I don't know, like a cell phone, what? Uh. I bought uh, cell phones, shoes, video games, and cell phone accessories. Okay, money you bought cell phone, uh, clothes, video games. Okay, good, excellent. All right, what else? What have you? What else have you bought? You can you can lower your hand now. You can lower your hand. So um, let me see, Alejandra, tell me what kind of things have you bought online? Um, dolls, cell phones, um, shoes, okay. makeup, and food. Oh, you bought also food online, okay. Yeah, what kind of app. fast food or growth? Uh, fast food, um, hamburger, cheese fries, um, cocktails, everything. All right, sounds good. All right, uh, Marvin, uh, with, uh, tell me a little bit about what have you bought um, online? I I have bought uh, clothes, shoes, um. Uh, knives from my wife. What 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 have you bought? What what did you buy for your wife? Nails, nails, nails. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Uh, Josue, tell us what have you bought? I bought a uh, hair dot, uh, or and food. Pizza, hamburger. Okay, all right. So like fast food then. Okay, all right, good. Uh, Manuel, Man Manuel de Jesus, what have you bought? Manuel de Jesus, yeah. can you hear us? Yes. Yeah. What, what what kind of things have you bought? Mm, uh, no, <clears throat> I am not buy on, online. You have never bought online? No. Oh, okay. It's just that you had raised your hand 
when I asked him if you had bought something, you raised your hand. So that's why I was asking what, what things you had bought online. Okay. All right. Let's see then. Let's try somebody else. Uh, let me see. Let me ask. Um, eh, let me see. Let me see. Carla. Carla Cano. What have you bought online? I buy uh, food and I, sometimes I pay my bills. Oh, you pay your bills online. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. all right. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now tell me, what is your experience with buying online? Do you recommend it or you think that it's risky? My opinion. Uh, I think it's very easy sometimes and uh, uh, what is the English word for rapid? Fast? Fast, uh -huh. uh -huh. fast, fast. and uh, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. All right, question. Have you ever had a bad experience when you bought online? Maybe when the when I buy a pizza, for example, uh, sometimes the sign of the Wi-Fi is very um, low. And maybe the order is take more time from the normal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So it's it's a little bit slower than normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Edgar, have you ever had a bad experience buying online? What? Me, teacher. Have you ever, yeah, Edgar, um, have you ever bought something online and, and had a bad experience? Uh, experience? Yeah, a bad experience. An uh, experience? Uh... Yeah, you understand experience, a bad experience? No body experience, teacher. No experience. Ha, do you you have bought something online? No, teacher. You have never bought online? No, everybody. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just asking because you, you oh, had your hand yeah. um, put up. So, Cuando yo pregunté si habían comprado en línea, usted levantó la mano. Uh, That's why I'm asking. No, 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 teacher, no, nunca he hecho una compra uh, en línea. You never thought. Okay, no. okay, no problem. All right, Julio Cesar, tell us a little bit. Have you ever had a bad experience uh, buying something online? Uh, no, not at the moment. No. All the times I bought something online, I I had the the product come to me uh, safe and um, in good conditions. Uh, but but it is a little bit risky because um, I mean sometimes you get something from, for example, from China, and it takes a little bit longer than expected, and you don't know how the product is gonna be when you get it, right? But um, I mean, you have to try it, right? Right, yeah, you're absolutely right. Now, speaking about that, what are some of the problems that could happen? If uh, like, what are some bad experiences that you could have? So um, you said that already talked about one thing, which is um, that the product may not come in good conditions, right? right. Uh, what's another problem? What could be another problem? Another problem could be that it gets lost uh, in the mail. That's very common. Right. Mm -hmm. It gets lost. Right. Very good. Okay. Irene, what about you? What do you think? What What could be a problem? 
what could be a problem uh, with buying something online? Irene, can you hear me? Yes, yes, excuse me. It's uh, okay. But uh, experience uh, last year before the quarantine, I bought a wash online, and then I saw I was so worried about that because during the quarantine my product was lost, was loose, and then I was so worried during all the time. But after the quarantine. My watch, I bought a watch. My watch came to El Salvador and I was so happy about that. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Glad to hear that. Um, so you had, you didn't have any, uh, like, you finally got the, the watch? It, it yes. finally arrived? Uh, I Yes, finally arrived to El Salvador, and and now they say how my wash and I ha I feel so happy. Good. How many days did it did it take to for you to get the watch? Uh, for five months. Like five months. Five months. Wow, that's a long yes. time. Long, long time. Yes. Okay. Well. Yes. Oh, that's just life, right? You just have to deal with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Marielos, uh, sorry, Mariela, um, tell me what problem do you think we could have when you uh, you order something online? Uh, in which cancel canceled my order to tw twice. Um, you had to cancel your order twice. Yes. Really? Why? What happened? Um, the MB uh, from Chinese. Oh, okay. And the Fine. airport is closed. What happened? The airport is closed. Oh. But what was this and the pandemic? What? Was it because of the pandemic? Um, um, they, uh, they, oh, devolvieron el dinero. Oh, they, okay. un reembolso. They, they gave you, um, um, my money. They gave you your money back. Yes. Mm, okay. For a refund. That's good. That's good. At least, at least you didn't lose any money. Okay, good. All right, excellent, guys. So, what I'm going to ask you to do right now, I would like you to open up your uh, book to page 19. Okay, so let's open up your book to page 19. All right, and on page 19, you will notice that uh, we have there a few steps, okay? And these steps, these steps are steps that people would take to buy something online. Probably many of you have already um, done this in the past, right? So for example, if um, you're buying something, they're going to ask for your credit card's information. Do you guys understand credit card's information? Yes, we do. All right. Right. So they would, for example, they would ask for things like uh, in the credit card information, they would ask for like uh, the name on the card, uh, the number on the card. Uh, they may ask mm -hmm. also for um the expiration the security code sorry the security code the security code yes exactly all of that information right okay 
Now, then we have confirm your information and submit. Okay, do, do we understand confirm your information and submit? So in other words, present it, right? Yes. So say yes, um, you confirm the information and yes, that's exactly what I want to buy. And that's exactly the information on my card. Okay, do we understand? Yeah, okay, all right, good. Um, then we have selected the items to purchase. Select is to choose, right? Um, select, choose, make the decision of what are the items you're gonna buy. So for example, if you are um, you know, buying something like a book, for example, which book are you going to buy, right? And from the selection of many, many different books, which one are the one, which one is the one you're, gonna, you're going to buy? Then we have go to the online website. Basically that is when you're searching the website, you're, you're, you're putting in like in Google, you're putting in what is the, the name of the website so you can find it. Then we have write your billing address. Write your billing address. Um, now, what is, do we understand billing address? Do you understand Billy Andres or no? Yes. 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 What does it mean, Billy and address? It's the address where you're going to receive your product. No, that's... La dirección vinculada con la tarjeta de crédito. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the billing address is not, okay. There is what we have, there are two things that we have. There's the billing address and the mailing address. Okay. The main, okay. So I'm, I'm actually going to write this in the chat so you can have it there. Okay. There are two things we have billing address and, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me change that. Okay, so we have billing address and mailing address, which is not the same thing. Okay, there you go. So we have the billing address and the mailing address. The billing address is the address that is connected to um, where the, the, the address of that is related to the, the credit card or where they're going to send the information about the bill, okay? That's the billing address. The mailing address is the address where they're going to send the product. Now, sometimes the billing address and the mailing, the mailing address are the same, right? Sometimes it, it's not, it, it doesn't make a difference but sometimes it's gonna be different, right? So the billing address, for example, um, maybe the, the credit card is related to um, my house, okay? That's the billing address. But I am asking for the product for my workplace, okay? And my workplace um, I has another address. So that would be the mailing address. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Yes. Do we understand the difference between billing address and mailing address? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In the teacher, the billing address uh, is, uh, is, is my house. It can be your house, but not necessarily. Um, the billing address is the address that is connected to the information of the credit card. Okay. Do you, does that make sense? Is, is that clear or no?
fast? Do uh, fast? Yes, sure. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, so that's the, the billing address. And then we have um, check the price, right? To check to see how much it's going to be. Remember that the price when you are um, buying something online may be different from the price that is there because maybe you have to include the price of um, the shipment, right? So they may add some more, some more money to the price um, for total, right? So it could be different. All right, and then finally we have, um, oh, sorry, we have confirmed the method of payment. So confirm that, 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 in, that the, the method that you're gonna use is the correct form. If it's like credit card, debit card, um, it could be, uh, what's it called? It could be um, money order, PayPal. Uh, which are the other ones that are very common? Monogram, maybe? Monogram, could be Monogram, uh -huh. yeah. Western Union. Western Union, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. Um, and then finally, we have log into your account. Log into your account means that you are going to um, you're going to like um, register into the account. Okay. So here we have the the different the different steps. I like I like everybody to say this with me. Credit cards information. Can you repeat that? Credit card, credit card information. 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 Great. Confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information. Your information. information. Good. Excellent. Select the item. To select the item. Select the item. Select the item. Select the item. This word here pronounce it. Purchase. 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 Excellent. Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page. Good. Excellent. Write the billing address. Write right. the billing, billing, billing address. 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 Check the price. Check the, Check the, price. Price. the price. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the, the method, method of payment. Of payment. Good. Log in to your account. Log, Log in, in to your account. account. Okay, good. So these are different uh, steps that you have to take in order to um, in order to complete. The, the online purchase. What I want you to do is I want you to take your time right now and put the, the different um, steps in the correct order. What do you think is first? What do you think is second? What do you think is last? Okay, I'm going to help you with the first one. What do you think is the first thing you got to do? Go to the online, go to the online web page. Exactly, that makes sense, right? Go to the online web page. So I want you to write here, let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to write over here in the first one. Go to the online web page. Right? That makes sense, right? That's would be the first thing you got to do. Okay. So I want you to put um, them in the order that you think makes sense. Okay. Let's try that right now. Okay. Um, so uh, you can do it in your book. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm gonna have to stand uh, to work for a minute. Uh, just. Um, oh, so okay. You know. 
Okay, that's fine. I'll be back. I'll be back. Right. Good okay, we'll be waiting for you. Thank you. Okay, so Thank I want you. you right now to try to do it on your own. I'll give you about two minutes to try to figure out what's the correct order. Repeat, please. So you're putting you're putting the order this these things in the correct order. What do you think goes first? What's the first thing? We know the first thing is go to the online web page. What comes next? Uh -huh. What do you think? Select the items. But don't don't okay. do it right now. I'm going to give you two minutes right now to try to figure okay. out what is the correct order. Okay. So I'll give you two minutes. Well, um, just for you to think about it. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me. I'll give you one more minute. All right, I'm back. Oh, wonderful. That was quick. Yeah, I, I'm quick sometimes. <laughs> good, good. That's great. Thanks. Okay, are we almost ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, okay. All right, what we're going to do right now is um, I don't know if you guys have ever done this before. Um, have you ever tried to write on the on, on the whiteboard? Well, are you have you ever tried that? Yes, no? Ya intentado alguna vez ahí escribir un zoom? No? Yes? No, yeah. Huh? No. No, never. No. In, in the chat? No. Mm -mm. Va. Les explico. Les voy a, voy a darle el control. Voy a decirle a, a algunos de ustedes y les voy a dar el control. Entonces, cuando, cuando yo les dé el control, les vas a pedir que, um, que tome el control y ahí entonces puede empezar a escribir. Okay. So, I'm going to get for number two. Let me ask. Um, Let's see, Irene. Okay, I'm gonna give the control to Irene. There you go, good. Okay. But Irene, uh, you have to, just say como, como, como escribir, Irene? Yeah. 
No, I can't. Okay, but uh, words, okay, let me, let me try this again. But Irene, you should see a bar. Can you see a bar? Yes. Hold on. But in the bar, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Sorry, sorry. Let me go. Okay, there it is. Okay. All right. So if you see a bar, um, Irene, you will see where it says text. Can you see where it says text? Yeah. Okay, press on text. And when you press on text, then you go exactly. Yeah, estamos. Y lo pone ahí donde usted quiere escribir. No. No, porque aquí me cambió ahí la. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, Tinele. I will help you. But vamos a hacer una cosa. We are going to help you. Um, give me a moment. Okay. All right. Just give me a moment. I'm going to try to see if I can get control back again. And then. Okay. Hold on. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm going to give you again the control it in it. Um, but ya está listo ahí para que usted pueda escribir. Um, so let me give the control to. No se preocupe, la primera vez sí es un poquito así como que estamos muy seguros. Okay, uh -huh. go ahead. Notar? I'm trying, I'm trying to do it, but I can't. Okay. Just give me a moment. Is this the command of control? Ah, here we are. Okay. Can you, can you write it in it? No, I'm... I'm trying to do it, but I can't because I'm typing, but I, I can't, I don't know. You're typing, but you can't. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no. no, not working? No, no, no work. What, what can you see, Irene? What, what do you see? I see only, estoy viendo el cursor, but when, cuando yo digito, no, no, no puedo. Bye. Eh, y ya, ya apretó en la, en la barra de herramientas donde dice text. Ahorita. Hay una barra de herramienta, no sé si puede ver donde dice text. Ah, vaya, ok, dijiste ahí y después lo podemos mover. Mo mover. Uh -huh. okay. And confirm your information and submit. And submit. Eh, voy a confirmar la información. Tengo dudas con eso. Okay, bye. But what do you think is the second? Do you think that's the second step? Yes. Okay, write it down. And uh, confirm my information in my submit. For example, um, Go to the online page and say yes about my information. Okay. Okay. Let me write this down. Okay. So you think it's confirmed your information? Confirm. 
Confirm. Confirm your information. Information and submit. Okay. All right. Do you okay. agree with it in it? Is that number two? Everybody agrees? Um, I agree. Know. I think you will be logged into your account. Log into your account. Yeah. Yes. Log yes. In. Log into your account. Okay. So we're going to put this over here just because we're going to check it out later. Okay. So over here, you think it's going to be log into your account? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Log in to your account. Okay. That, that's right. what I would do if I was uh, going to buy something online. <laughs> right. Yeah. Especially for example, like let's say if you're buying something like, I don't know, like on eBay or Amazon, then you're probably, you probably would want to first go into your account um, so that they, they already know what kind of things you look for, what, you know, they, they already know who you are and what things you're looking for. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, I agree. I would do the same thing. Good. Okay, um, let's try with somebody. Else. Um, okay, let's let's go for number three. I'm going to give the remote control to. Let's see. Um, let me give it to. Um, to Edgar. So I'm going to give it to. Edgar. Yes, teacher. All right, so go ahead, Edgar. You can start. Okay. Um, the the select items to purchase. Okay, but can you can you write it down? Is it possible to write it? Yes. Can you write it in 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 the book? Okay. It has like. Yeah. Voy a tratar. No, no, teacher, no lo, no lo puedo escribir. Vale. Um, ¿Qué le aparece? Um, me no. aparece. Ah, ok. Me aparece un, una barra. Mira. Me aparece una barra, sí. Donde dice mouse, select. Text, draw, stamp, spotlight. ¿Le parece eso? Ajá. No. ¿No le parece eso? No, no me parece. Okay. Eso. Vale, pero acaba de, de, acaba de abrir una cajita. Muy bien. Mueva esa cajita a, a donde está el espacio el número 3. Uh -huh. ¿Ahí? Muévala. Ok. No la puedo, así la, la logro abrir, pero no. Ok, Va, voy a ver si la puedo remover. Ok. Ok. All right, so you can start, you can start. Um... Ok. Ok. <coughs> Pero no, pero no puedo escribir sobre ella. Vale. Ahí está. Está escribiendo. Pero no. ¿Hay no. clic otra vez? Ah, ok. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Hay clic sobre la cajita nuevamente? No. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Vaya, no. Váyase a la barra de herramientas donde dice Select. Ahí está de nuevo la cajita, mira. Ajá. Vaya, en la barra de herramientas donde dice Select. No. Sí, aparece select sí. en la cajita, pero de la, perdón, la barra de herramientas. La barra de herramientas es donde dice mouse, select, text, draw, stamp. Entonces póngale select. 
Y ¿Se encontró donde dice select? No, teacher. ¿No? No. Ok. Vale, vamos a hacer una cosa para que el video Parecía. ¿Ah? Parecía, me lo. Ok. ¿Puede usted pero... Pero no, pero no, pero no puedo escribir aunque abro la caja. Okay. Try to write. No me permite escribir. No se tiene. Tiene acceso. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. You can write. But vamos a hacer una. Eh, ¿Qué me dice? ¿Me va a dictar qué es lo que voy a escribir? Y después. Que sale que voy a hacer esto para mañana. Les voy a enseñar a todos. Les voy a hacer como una presentación ahí de todo pues, para que vean qué tienen que tocar y cómo sepan cómo hacerlo. Okay. okay. All right, so no worries, no worries. Right now we're just going to, um, going to write. Um, just tell me, tell me what you want me to put in number three. Um, select the items, the item to purchase. Select the item to purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Select the item. The items to, to purchase. purchase. Okay. Good. Right. You agree? Does everybody agree with this? Like yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I agree too. It's definitely selective. I don't purchase. Okay, good. Let's um now go to um let's see. Okay. Um. Okay, um, let's have, okay, all right, well, because of time, we'll just have everybody this time. Okay, so number four, what do you think it is? You can open up your right. Let's see, we'll have Manuel Alejandro. What would you say? What's number four? Eh, Manuel Alejandro, um, your microphone. Excuse me. Okay. For me, mm -hmm. eh, number three, it will log into your account. Number four, uh, select the item. Mm -hmm. What is number two? For you, what is number two? Log into your, uh, your log into your account. Okay. And number three? Uh, write your billing address. Oh, okay, right, your billing address, okay. Um, remember that for the bill, the billing address you're going to give only when you have chosen what you're gonna buy. So when you, first you have to choose what you're gonna buy and then you're gonna ask for your information, yeah? So you cannot pay for something until you have, you have chosen what to buy. 
Does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Excuse me? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so. Okay, but you can, okay. To, to give your billing address, it's because you're going to be paying, right? You're going to be paying. But you cannot pay oh, okay. something if you have not selected the item yet. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, okay. All right. So what do you think would be number four then? So you, uh, first, you check, you, you decide, ah, oh, that's what I want. Then what do you have to select do? The, select the item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So that's select the item. So check the price. And then? Check the price. Exactly. Check the price. Price, yeah. Check the price. Verá que ninguno de ustedes se pone a simplemente comprar algo si no saben cuánto vale. Right? Obviously. We have to yeah. consider that we yeah. check the price. Yeah. Check before, the price. Right? Because that way we can say yes, mm -hmm. buy it or no, it's too expensive. Right? Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, one second here. Vamos, quienes están. Eh, let me see. Ask okay. Fabiola. Fabiola, okay. what would be number five for you? Sorry? Confirm the method of payment. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, good. They're going to ask you how you're going to pay for it. Right? So confirm the method of payment. Okay. We, we have to say if we're going to buy with a credit card, or we're going to buy with... Um, a PayPal, or you're going to buy it with, um, you know, uh, Western Union, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Good. Number six. Um, let's have. Let's see. Can, I'm going to have number six. Uh, Juan Francisco. Credit card. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Juan Francisco? Number six. Um, write your billing address. Write your billing address. Okay, good. Exactly. You have to write your billing address. Um, good. So they're going to give you, they're going to ask for your information, right? Uh, but before the billing address, what, what, what kind of information do they want? Before they, get, before they ask for the billing in information, the billing address, what do they ask for? Credit card information. Credit card information. Credit card information. They, they want to know what is the number of the credit card, what is the name on the credit card, et cetera, et cetera. So credit card information. Okay, good. Next. What is next? Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Okay, good. Write your billing address. I'm sorry. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Yeah. So there you get to confirm what is the address related to the credit card. Okay. And then finally, after that, what comes after that? 
confirm your information and submit. Exactly, which is the last part right here, which is confirm your information and submit, right? Very good, excellent. Okay, now, any questions about this? No? Okay, no, all right, I'm going to stop sharing for the moment and I'm going to now go to um, the whiteboard because I'm going to explain something. Um, sorry, uh, Warner, um, yes, I did um, see a Warner me iba a pasar la lista, pero sí, de hecho ya la pasé lo que En, en todo lo que estábamos ahí haciendo ya la había pasado. So, um, lo voy a hacer así, ya aquí en la clase nuevamente. Um, ok, so, um, um, let me share the screen with the whiteboard. Okay. Now, when we are, when we are talking about, um, in, well, basically, uh, we always try to, in English and in Spanish, we try to identify where things are, where are they located? And that's what we call demonstrative pronouns. Pronouns. Okay, demonstrative pronouns. Um, So the demonstrative program, pro, pronouns. Um, now, in English, we have four demonstrative pronouns, okay? And demonstrative pronouns are, we have this, that, Sorry, this, these, that, and those. Okay, so those are the ones, the four demonstrative pronouns in English. This, that, those. Now, the question is how do you use them? How do you use these pronouns? And the, que the answer is, it's going to depend on if it's singular, plural, and if it's close to you and far away from you. So this is used when we want to talk about something that is singular, singular and near or close close to you. Okay. Singular and close to you. Okay. These is used when it's plural and far away far away from you, okay? That is used when it's singular as well, but instead of being close to you, it's far away from you, okay? So that is also singular, just like this, but the difference is that this is close to you and this one is far from you. And then we have those that is used when it's plural, just like this one, but it's close, sorry, far away. No, sorry. My mistake. Perdón, chicos, me equivoqué. Plural, this one's plural and close to you. This one's close to you and close to you. And this one is plural and far away from you. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. So this singular and close to you, these plural and close to you. That singular far away from you, and uh, those plural and far away from you. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, how, how can I explain this? It's very, it's actually not, it's very easy. Um, I can explain it like this. Okay, let's say that you have, I'm going to draw a ball here. Okay, or let me draw a stick person. It's pro probably better if I draw a stick person. Okay, so here you are. Um, let me actually. So we have, the, there's a person, rustic people. So there you go. This is my stick person. No soy muy buena de dibujante, pero. There you go. Okay, so here's the person and we have a ball. The ball, is is close to the person. There you go. Okay. So so here we go. Let's play the let's imagine the person is playing soccer. Okay. Then we would have the ball. This is the ball and it's close by, it's near the person. Okay, sounds good? And in the case of, the case of, it's like we have the person the person and the person has this um, one ball. The person has many balls. Okay. These singular and close to you. Okay, yeah. So there's not just one ball, but there are many balls. There are many balls. Some of the balls are smaller and some are bigger. In this case, we have okay. We have three balls. Let's say okay. So the balls are close to you, okay, but they are plural. Okay. Now, in the case of um, the case of that and those, the person. Here we have a person. And we have, oh, sorry. let me draw a person over here because of the space, I don't have enough space. So, and then the person, you know, with this one, it would be, um, that the thing is singular, but it's far away from the person, okay? So in this case, maybe the ball is over here. Okay. So do you see that the ball is not close by here? The, clo the ball is close. Here, the ball is far away. So it would be that, you can say that ball. Okay. And in the case of those, the ball is plural and it's also far away so we can have like for example maybe the balls are over here so you can see that the balls are far away from the person they're not near the person and there are many balls okay does that make sense yeah so we can say, for example, yes. that bar, sorry, that, sorry, this ball 
is big. Let's see. All right, this ball is big. We can say, in this one we can see, these balls are green. Well, here we can say maybe that ball um, is nice. Okay. And over here, maybe we can say those balls are um, those balls are, what can we say about the bars, uh, are different sizes. Green too. Huh? They are green too. They're also, huh, they're also green, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put, those bars are different sizes. Same. Okay, all right, et cetera, et cetera. So do you see, if you notice, with when we're using the demonstrative pronouns, the demonstrative pronouns are always going to be um, before the um, the demonstrative pronouns are, pronouns are going to be before the noun. So we have this, these, that, and those. And like I said, they are always before the ball. So, or the, but so the, the noun. So ball, balls, ball, it's balls. All right, sounds good. Does this make sense for everybody? Any questions? No? Okay. All right, guys, so what I'm going to ask you to do, um, I would like you to work on exercise three and five on page 19 and 20 for homework. We're going to be checking tomorrow, and we're going to also be, um, a, we're going to be, what's it called? Um, uh, doing some conversations with this, okay, so that you are able to practice a little bit about um, demonstrative pronouns, okay? Um, any questions at this moment? Anything you want to ask me? No. No? No, thank you. No, I think we're good. Okay. All right, guys. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do right now is just um, I'm going to ask Everybody make sure that everybody has their camera on. I'm going to be taking the attendance. Get the screenshot there of the attendance. Ready? Okay. Um, and I'm also going to ask, let me see, can it It would be um, Yvonne. So if Yvonne can stay, um, after the class, and we're going to um, we're going to have a little bit of the practice there with um, any special uh, the special uh, help. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, that's all for today. Um, thank you guys for being here and on time as well. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good yeah. night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good good night. night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. And everybody. Okay, Ron. Um, all right, so let me. So first of all, um, welcome I, uh, to the class. I, I'm glad to be able to meet you. Um, how do you feel there with, um, uh, with the information so far in the class?
uh, any problems that you've had on the platform? Um, no, with the platform, it's all okay. Uh, I, I, um, uh, I was, uh, uh, I did my, my, my own homework last week and it's okay. Uh, now with uh, the topic of today, I have a doubt uh, with the exercise on page 20. Right. Because I don't know um, uh, how how to write the, the correct demonstrative pronouns because I don't know the objects are close or are far away from the, the that person of the conversation. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in the case of like that, that works very easy. It's easily to see when it's physically, right? So when you see the item physically in front of you, it's easy to identify if it's close or far away. The problem is when you're not, you're talking about something that is not so obvious, right? To give you an example, if, um, if you are talking about in a conversation, you say, um, let's say you're looking at the screen, okay? You're looking at the screen and, it's, and you, at the, at the computer and you say, what's this letter? What is this letter? Why this letter? Because the computer, even though they don't, you don't see it, but the computer is quite close to you. It's not, a, it's not very, very far away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, when you're talking about something in your conversation, you can say, for example, um, you know, you, you, because you're, you're talking about something that's, um, that you just mentioned, then it could be something close to you. Is there something in particular that you're not very sure about? A specific sentence that you you weren't sure? Yeah, for, for example, number one, uh, uh, do you want to buy a um, tablet? And the answer is yes, I want to buy the black one. But I don't, I don't know if the tablet is uh, near or is far of the people that are, that that is talking. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, all right. In that case, notice the the answer. The answer is yes. I want to buy the black one. That means that there is more than one. That's that is like a choice, right? Uh -huh. Black one. So if we're talking about the black one. Um, mm -hmm. if we're or about, in in that case, I I can write a, anyone these or or that. Yes, um, you can you can write if you want. You can write um this or that. Now, for me though, um. Because it's say you're not saying this particular one, you're you're probably talking about um, something like they you have choices and probably it's on display. You can probably okay. imagine if you go to a place um, like a, let's say Claro, for example. I'm just giving you an example, right? So you probably see many different um, tablets, right? That you you can you can choose from and say do you want to buy um do you want to buy the that tablet and you say yes i want to buy the black one yeah okay probably something that is not so close to you probably something that is on the display because you say ah the black one okay okay it's okay Hey, uh, uh, teacher, I, I, I was thinking about an activity. I, I don't know if it's possible. Uh, um, maybe we can know uh, new vocabulary in the class, not only uh, about the topics that 
we are seeing every class. Uh, uh, I mean, for example, uh, many useful words, uh, not only in that topic, uh, in uh, that, for example, words that are, are that are common in con in the mass of conversations. Uh, I think that that was that will be useful uh, for a lot of us or or uh, um, expressions that uh, there are common in, in conversations, but not necessary about the topic. Okay, yeah, um, you, you want us to look at extra vocabulary? Yes, yes, because for example, when I heard some songs, uh, I uh, heard some words that I, I don't know it, but are common in conversations, formal or informal. And I, I think that is, is good for, for, for all of us to know uh, more words because uh, sometimes uh, you are talking with other people and you are very short with the vocabulary. I think, mm -hmm. or for example, uh, some tips. Uh, for example, uh, I heard uh, in the past, uh, for example, the, the pronunciation with the uh, words that ends in GE, for example, cage. Uh, the plurals of that uh, words, it's not cage, it's in no cages, uh, you, for example, you have an other, uh, how do you say syllable? Syllable, uh, an extra you, syllable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, that, that words in plural have another syllable and that are knowledge that you don't, don't learn in, in, in a class. It's only when you are in may investigations or you uh, see videos or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, yeah, sure, no problem. I can um, take a look at um, some vocabulary. And what we can do, what I can do is um, we'll try to incorporate it with the, the conversations that we make and that way it will be easier for you to incorporate into your everyday life. Okay, okay, and thank you, teacher, because uh, I, I think you are very kind and you're very patient because uh, I think we are in basic and, and it's very hard uh, to learn uh, English and at this hour is hard. It's, it's harder <laughs> to learn English at this hour because uh, after work we are tired. We are sleepy sometimes, and and you know, uh, you 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 are very patient with those up, and I hope that that this day was uh, a good begin, good begin for all of us. Yeah, well, I hope so too, and um, I'm glad that I can help. I mean. Um, that's that's part of my job, you know. I, I I totally understand that it's not easy. In general, learning a language is not easy. I I, I understand it, and you're absolutely right. It's it's not easy, um, you know, with with the schedule and everything, and you're tired from work and everything. I totally understand that. Yeah. So just yeah, don't worry about it, and and don't be. Don't be worried that um, I'm going to get mad or something because you asked me a question, because you didn't understand, because you want me to repeat. That's okay. I mean, that's what I'm here for, right? If you didn't understand, it's okay. You can tell me, um, teacher, can you repeat the question? Teacher, I didn't understand this explanation. That's okay. I prefer you to tell me that you don't understand something, then you just pretend that you understand it and and you don't right so. yes I, I i think well uh and today it was the first day and 
Uh, I think we are acostumbrados. How do you say acostumbrados? Uh, I, I was useful uh, to talk with, uh, with Gonzalo. And now we are, um, I don't know, uh, afraid or uh, we are knowing. Uh, and, and, yes, uh, mm -hmm. I, I think it's, it's only the first day then yeah, it's uh, it, and and have about uh, uh, uh i for use to to connect in my phone and i can write when you give me the control in my phone or it's only for the computer oh in the phone that's a good question i think i think you can if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I think I, I think I remember that some students have told me that they can, but it's more difficult. It's more difficult to write because um, like on the phone, it, like the space is more reduced, right? So yes. it's a little bit more difficult. But yeah, yeah, because possible. Uh, I, I think uh, um, we are, not good with the technology uh, and i think it's, it's um for me for me it's my opinion it's better um uh, only say uh, for example in, in the exercise uh, of the credit cards uh, mm -hmm. it's better only say what is my my choose and and not the people try to to write mm -hmm. because uh, you know, uh, I, I think or I feel that I waste time uh, that we are can make another exercise. And I think we are not good in English and we are not good in, in the technology too. Well, that's why I was, I was, um, I, t I, I told you at the end that I was going to prepare like a, a little PowerPoint presentation so that you could see how um, you can write it and we'll see if it works, we'll use it. If it doesn't work, we won't use it, right? So we'll just have okay. to, we'll have to see if it, um, how things go, if everybody understands it. If not, that's okay. Not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Your input. Uh, thank you, teacher. And You're I think uh, we are, oh, well, we, we will be, uh, improve with the time and thank you and absolutely i think that is that is all for today okay great uh, anything else that i can help you with yvonne no teacher it's only that i think okay that's fine then all right yvonne it's been a pleasure um meeting you and we'll see each other tomorrow okay thank you right. and good night and all right good please night. Rest. <laughs> yes. And, yes, well. and good good night. Good night. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Bye.